Okay, here is an interesting question here. Imagine I have three functions fn, which is 2 power n, gn, which is n factorial, hn, which is n power log n, right? Given these three, which of the which of these four statements are correct, right? So this is a multiple choice question with only one of them being correct, right? So let's look at before we go into this. First, let's organize these three functions, okay, in an asymptotic order, right? So let's start with it. So we know. So this part is straightforward here, right? We know that two n grows slower than n factorial. Okay, this is this is almost straightforward. For example, uh, it's straightforward because if you just go to the if you just go to this thing, right? If you just go to the order of functions, right? That's one of the important things here. Look at this. So your two power n because c is greater than one. So your two if two c equals to two, what you get here is two power n. And here is n factorial, and n factorial grows faster than c par n for c greater than one. So that's straightforward. That's that's straightforward there. Okay, that's given to us. Okay, if if you if you just remember the order of functions because that helps you a lot. Of course, you can derive everything from first principles, but just remembering this order helps you, right? So you know that two n two par n is grows slower than n factorial. You already know this. Now the tricky part is what about this? Okay. So this part is straightforward. Very good. What about this? So if I have n power log n, so let's try to compare n log n and two power n first. Okay. So if I take log on both sides, what happens? So again, very simple logic. Log of a power b is b log a. Right. If I take log here, what happens? This exponent comes out. Right. And I have log n here. So I do log n into log n. That's what I get on this side. What about here? If I take log or log or here, what what do I get? I get n because log of two power n with base two is nothing but n. Okay, let's assume this log. Since it's not mentioned, I can I'll just assume it to be log base two just for sim simplifying my math. So what is this? This is log n square. This is log n square, and this is n. Now again, in the order of functions, we know how they are organized. Right, so let's look it up. Okay, in the in the order of functions, that's why I said order of functions is extremely important. Of course, you can derive everything from first principles without going through this. But here, what do we have? We have log n square, right? We had log n square and order of n. Right here, if my c is equal to two, what do I get here? Order of log n square. So log n square grows slower than n, right? So what did we have here? We are exactly here. So in the in the previous slide here, right? So in the previous slide here, what did we have? Log n square and n. So we know that n grows faster than log n square, which means we know that two power n grows faster than n log n. So what is the order that I have? N power log n grows slower than two power n, which grows slower than n factorial, right? Once I have this, I can start answering, because once I have this ordering. I can tell you everything. So, what is n power log n? This is this is function h, right? This is h, right? What is two power n? Two power n is f, right? What is n factorial? It is g. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see. H of n is order of f of n. What does this mean? This means. What does this mean? This means that f of n is an upper bound of upper bound on h of n. F of n here is an upper bound on h of n. So, this this is right. What about this? G of n, right? G of n is lower bounded by f of n. So g of n grows slower, uh, faster than f of n, which is also true. Because the moment you have this ordering, you can write all. You can write big O. You can write omega. All of these notations you can start writing now. Okay. So the correct answer here is D. And that, of course, you can try out all the other options also. But the moment you have this, the moment you have this, you know which function is growing faster than the other function. The moment you have that, you can talk about upper bounds and lower bounds, right? So big O basically means, as we already learned, it's basically an asymptotic upper bound. Omega basically means asymptotic lower bound. So the answer for this is D. And the critical aspect is being able to sort your functions h, f, and g in the asymptotic order. Once you do that, everything is straightforward.